Hey Virgo, it's Kay with Good Karma Tarot. This is going to be your weekly energy for about the next seven days or so. So we're going to go ahead and get started, see what's going on with you guys. Alright, Angel Spirits guides, as they come in the screen, probably give the most accurate answers for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? I'm hearing rebuild. Rebuild. So you might have had like a tower moment in your life recently, and you're having to rebuild something, something to do with your foundation. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. Virgo. Like seven days for Virgo. So your overall energy is the heart chakra. So this might be why you have to rebuild something. That might be why I was hearing rebuild. So we do have rest and reconsider. Right after that with success and growth. And then move, which is cancer energy. Some of you might be dealing with a cancer, have that in your chart. Yeah, so I feel like you're at a standstill right now with rest and reconsider. You're reflecting on something, most likely um, whatever it is that you're having to rebuild in your life. I definitely feel that this has to do with your emotional stability, but this could also have to do with your career as well. Because we do have success and growth here. But it's interesting because the way it looks... Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. So here's how it looks on the table. So this is a number 9 card. This is an 8. And this is a 7. So it's like going kind of like downhill have like a downgrade with something. Let's go ahead and clarify. Some of you might need to spend some time in nature. Connect with Gaia. Some of you might also be in school. And maybe your grades have gone down since, like, the pandemic. That's not for everyone, but for some of you. If you're in school, that could be the case. It's definitely an energy of needing to connect with Gaia, which is interesting because you are an earth sign, so you're kind of naturally grounded. But you might have place placements in your chart. Um, let's see. What is this rest and reconsider? What do they need to reconsider? Okay, so you've had a spiritual awakening. Ah, okay. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or have this in your chart. So there's a decision that you're making. Okay. So we have judgment here. So you've gone through an awakening process. Most likely having to do with that rebuild with this heart chakra. And then we have the two of wands. And then we have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or have that in your chart. I think I said that already. You're having to make a final decision about something. And the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords with the Fool. 
So you're having to end something, and then it's like once you make a final decision to end whatever this is, whether it's a pattern, a relationship, connection, job, whatever it is, for you, once you end this, it's like you have a new beginning elsewhere. I'm getting a lot of adventure vibes as well, so you might like to go on adventures with the Fool and then also the Two of Wands. He's holding the world in his hands, so you might like to travel a lot. But this ending, either you're ending things with a Capricorn or there's some toxicity in your life with the Devil here. This can also be negative thinking patterns, codependency, um, just a way of being that's no longer serving you anymore, and you're deciding to cut ties with that. This can also be like a, a previous relationship that you have where you felt like you were backstabbed, because he has all these swords in his back, and it's just kind of an energy like I, I just can't take anymore. I can't take anymore, so you might be afraid to take a leap of faith. Also, um, with the dog being in the picture, that might be one of your animal totems. But I do feel that you're coming out of a time of confusion with the Seven of Cups in reverse, and you're going to take a leap of faith into a brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands here, something passionate. I'm just going to ignore my cat. He's clawing at the door. Okay, no, he's not going to stop. One second. But yeah, something, this can also be a new creative endeavor that you're going after. Okay. So now we're going to look into success and growth and see what that's about. It's just so interesting. You're going from a 9 to an 8 to a 7. And then you have two major arcanas on the 9. So it's kind of like you're looking back you're contemplating about something and you're changing something. It really feels like a pattern. Monroe. It really feels like a pattern that you're breaking free from. So maybe this is a pattern that you got from childhood or somewhere along the way during your journey and you're choosing to break f uh, free from this. I almost said fear, so maybe you're breaking free from fear. Okay, what is this success in growth? <laughs> you gonna lay by me? Okay, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, this is a karmic cycle for you because over the success and growth, which is a number eight card, we have another eight. And this is the Eight of Swords, but it's in reverse. So you're breaking free from something that was toxic for you. An old way of being. Or again, this can be breaking free from fear. Because both these cards, it, it just feels there's a fear that you have. And you're wanting to start something new. This can be either in your career or really any aspect of your life. But you're taking a look at where you've invested your time with the Seven of Pentacles. Or you're deciding where it is you want to invest your time. Um, what you want to put your time and energy into. Because you want this new beginning. You want something brand new, I feel. With the Ace of Pentacles, you could have an opportunity coming in. Or this can be you making some kind of offer 
What is this Ace of Pentacles? Okay. One more. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So there's something that you're wanting to communicate. This can represent fast communication, passionate communication, or just communication overall. And over the Ace of Pentacles, we have another Ace. You're definitely breaking free from a karmic cycle. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So there's something you're working really hard on because you're you're wanting to bring in a new beginning. Okay. Oh, and then another eight. I didn't realize that. You have four eights right there. You have all four eight cards in the tarot just on that one card. So we have the eight of cups as well. So you could be walking away from a job or something that you just put a lot of work into, a lot of, you've invested a lot of your time into. And maybe you're wanting to communicate this or just move towards something else. I don't feel, I don't feel like you don't know what this um, new beginning is. I feel like you, you know what you're walking towards And you're, this is what you're walking towards. We have move. So some of you might be relocating, changing towns, cities, transferring jobs. But regardless of what it is, there's an energy of movement. There's something you're wanting to move towards, something that you really love and you're passionate about with the heart there. So you're really just, so maybe this isn't really a downfall or a downgrade. Maybe this is just you looking back, but it doesn't really feel like it's because, I don't feel like you're looking back because like in a negative light, it's more to understand whatever it is that you're going through. You're trying, you're wanting to understand your reasons why or how you can do better. What is this move? A lot of pentacles here. Could definitely be with your career. Or something you see as stable. Something you see as promising. And this can even be you going to school to learn something new. Because we have the page of pentacles here. And then I just got a glimpse of... The king of pentacles so it's like even though this is like a small offer or a small step starting out with the king of pentacles that was just on the bottom of the deck it's like you see the potential in something and you know that it's going to level you up in some way So this could even be like the beginning of a new project. Okay, why is that here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords came back out. Some of you are definitely moving. Yeah, okay. This is perfect. You okay? You okay? You okay? Sorry about that. Okay. I didn't even see these that fell on the ground. Okay. Those up here. Yeah, so the Ten of Swords came out again. I asked 
why. And we have the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, and then the Six of Pentacles. So it's like whatever this ending was for you, it was really painful. And there's a lot of sadness here connected to this ending. So I feel like you have to walk away from this though to kind of balance the scale, so to speak. So there's a balance scale there. You're wanting something like an equal partnership or you're wanting something more balanced in your life. So then we have the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. And remember, we started with the Page of Pentacles, and I saw the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck earlier. So it's like you're taking the necessary steps in your healing or whatever this is. So it's not actually like a downgrade at all. It's just you looking back to understand your situation so that you can make improvements. And I see you making these improvements. So you're, you're moving at a slow and steady pace, which is good. It's very Virgo-like. And you're moving from one place to another, whether it's a phase of your life or you're physically relocating. But I feel that some of you are physically relocating or transferring jobs, something like that, because you have the chariot with the six of swords. So some of you are definitely moving. For others, you're just moving from one phase of your life to the next. But in order to do that, you've had to go within and to really shine a light on your situation or like an inner wound that you had in order to move forward. And it's connected to this Three of Swords energy with the Five of Cups. Because whatever this ending was, it brought you a lot of sadness but you know that it had to be done because this is what you really want, the Six of Pentacles. You want something equal, you want something balanced, and you knew you had to end something in order to bring in that balance. So the King of Swords is really like you standing in your true, true and authentic self. This is you being honest with yourself saying, hey, it's time for me to move on from this situation. Because it's like you feel the change in the air. And maybe you had an issue with standing up for yourself in the past. And now you're just reaching a level of self-worth that you, you're able to stand up for what you believe in and fight for what it is that you want. So I see you ending one thing, one situation or way of being, and you're gradually taking the steps to enter a new phase of your life. Because yeah, we have the seven of wands here. So there's an energy of having to stand up for yourself. Okay, so Yeah, and a little bit ago, my cat, like he was wheezing, and I was kind of scared to make sure he was okay. That's my baby. Okay. Can you give us more insight of what Virgo is moving into? Like the energy already, what you're moving into, feels a lot lighter and a lot more balanced. So whatever this was that had to end, it was even though it was really hard for you to end, or it is really hard, it's totally worth it in the end. All right, Virgo. Yeah, again with the number 10, and this says flow.
Okay. So then we also have Just Breathe. And with this, I'm getting some of you have mediumship abilities. Some of you are shamans, too, I'm picking up. And then we have Lead, which is the Emperor Aries Energy. So some of you might own your own business, or this is just about your stability. This is you taking control of your life. And I feel like this is just emphasizing how hard this is for you. And this could also be advice to do some deep breathing exercises and to center yourself, get out in nature, all of that. You might be really connected to water as well, so it might be good for you to get out by the water. Because I'm just like thinking about water, there's like such peace coming from this. I don't even see that going that way. That's interesting. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I'm going to just breathe. You might have been dealing with somebody who is immature. This could be a business partner, this could just be someone in your home, whatever it was. Um, but there, because we have the Knight of Wands, I'm getting really immature energy with this. And then we got the Six of Swords. So it's like, this is what you're moving away from. Yeah. It's what you're moving away from. Because you don't want to go back to whatever this was in your past. You're wanting to move away from this. And you're seeking balance. And that's why the Just Breathe is here. So it's interesting because we have the Emperor that came up. And then we also have the Empress. So again, this can be a business partnership for some of you. This can even be a significant other. But it's interesting because it's like, this is what you're moving towards. So you're moving towards a new partnership or a partnership of some kind, or this is just your feminine and masculine energies within you coming into union leaving you feeling more balanced. One more. Yeah. We got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, this is definitely a, about a partnership. You're wanting something more stable. But it's like, it's interesting because it's like another sign got this. You want, you want the stability and whatever this is to feel grounded, but you also want the emotional depth to it too. But you've kind of been in decision mode with the two of swords. So maybe you were blindfolded to something and I feel that it has to do with this Knight of Wands energy, this immature energy that's coming through. And maybe you just had to decide to leave either this person or this job or this aspect of yourself behind. Because we also have the Knight of Cups here. It's interesting. Okay. Alright, let's do... I'm gonna do the Witch's Tarot. I don't even know if that's what this is called, honestly. Alright, um, Virgo. Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Yeah, I knew you were 
moving towards something passionate. Okay, so we have moon cycles. You might be heavily connected or affected by the moon phases. So be really gentle with yourself at this time because there's a lot going on astrologically. And then we also have fire, passion. So there's something that you're feeling passionate towards. And you're moving towards this. Let's get one more. I'm seeing a lot of growth for you too. Yeah, we have stability at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this is, it's a new beginning for you. We did see the Ace of Wands earlier, and then we have stability and passion next to each other. And I think it's interesting because it's like he's holding up a rod right there. So it reminds me of the Ace of Wands. But this is something that you've been manifesting with Alchemist. Some of you might be into magic. And a manifestation has come in for you. Something like that. But there's definitely a passionate new beginning here. What is this passionate new beginning? So we have incubation. And then we also have cleansing. So it's like before this new beginning comes in, you're going through kind of like a metamorphosis. You're there's a lot of a lot happening internally. You're going through a lot of internal changes because they're really not telling me what this new beginning is. So maybe it's just because it's general, but or you're not supposed to know. I don't know. But th I feel that this is where you're at. You're transforming. You're definitely transforming. And you're being prepared for a new passionate beginning. so funny but we have awakening at the bottom you're definitely going through an awakening process <laughs> but they just keep telling me the same thing because we got clearance and there's a broom and it looks like it's sweeping <laughs> so you're basically making room for a brand new beginning in your life and you're being prepared for that I don't know what it is they're not saying I just know that there's a lot of passion there with that message coming out twice so it could be a creative endeavor it could um just be something that fills you with a lot of passion but i'm going to stop it there um yeah have a great day like share subscribe if you like the reading thank you guys